video, we'll be seeing how to make this extremely wonderful Starburst rubber band bracelet. To make this very cool Starburst rubber band bracelet, you'll need some rubber bands, your loom, your hook, and C clip or S clip. So I've used seven colors and rainbow colors and a black color. It depends on you. You can use any combination you like. Let's begin. Take your loom and place it in such a way that the arrows and the openings are facing away from you. So once you've done that, we can start placing the rubber bands. We are going to start placing the border rubber bands in my case black. So place the first black rubber band from the left first pin to the middle first pin. Once you've done that, place the second border band from the middle first pin to the right side first pin. After that, place the next bands from the first pin in the left to the second pin in the left row. And then continue this. Place the next rubber band from the second pin in the left to the third pin in the left. Then from the third to the fourth pin, then fourth to the fifth. And continue this until you have reached the end. Stop placing pins in the last before pin. So that is this. Now once you've done that, we have to start placing the right row rubber bands. So start with the first pin to the second pin from the right side like this. Then from the second pin to the third pin in the right side. Then from the third to the fourth. Then the fourth to the fifth. And you have to continue this till you have reached the last before pin in the right. Now it's time to finish the border rubber bands. So place a rubber band from the left side last before pin to the middle last pin. Like this. Then place a rubber band from the right side last before pin to the middle last pin. So once you place that, the placement of your border rubber bands is done. Let's move on to the placement of color rubber bands. In my case, it is red. The color choice depends on you. So start placing the color bands from the middle second pin to the right side second pin. Then place the second color band from the middle second pin to the right side first pin. Once you've done that, just continue it in the same way in clockwise direction. Once you've done that, just push all the rubber bands down as this creates more space. Now your first Starburst placement is done. Now let's move on to the second Starburst. In my case, it's orange color. So remember to place the bands from this next pin. After the completion of this first Starburst, do not place it from where the red color completes. Now place it in the same way clockwise direction like we did the previous Starburst. Continue in the same way for all the Starburst. We'll end up having 6 Starburst and we'll be needing 6 color bands for each Starburst. Since I am using rainbow colors, I have placed the bands in the order red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. The color combination and color choice of the rubber bands is totally your choice. Complete placing the rubber bands till the end. Once you have finished adding the color bands, you remember to push down all the stars down so this creates more space and we can start adding the cap bands. 
So come back to the starting which is the red star burst and now let's see how to make the cap band. It's very simple. Just take your band, twist it and, and put it back into your finger like this. Now attach it onto the middle of the star burst. Let's see how to make the cap bands again. Take the border color band which is in my case black, twist it so that it forms an 8 and place it back into the same finger. Now attach, uh, place it onto the middle of the next star burst. Place all the cap bands in the middle of all the 6 star bursts. Once you have done that, you have to place one more cap band at the last pin in the middle row. This helps it from this helps the rubber band from staying intact. So now the placement of rubber bands is over. Let's move on to the looping. Now rotate the loom back loom so that the arrows and the openings face towards you. Once you have done that. Take your hook and let's start looping. So start from the first peg in the middle row and then go inside the cap bands and take the first band under the cap bands which is your color bands in my case purple. Now hook it into the pin above it. Now take the next rubber band under the cap bands. It should be the one on the lower right side so just hook it onto the lower right now take the next rubber band under the cap bands and hook it onto the upper right so it should look just like this once you have done now take the next rubber band under the cap bands and hook it directly up directly on the pin above it after that hook the next rubber band under the cap bands onto the pin on the upper left to it then the next one on the upper uh, on the lower left so your first star wars looping is ready it should look just like this now let's move to the second one The second star burst also has to be looped in the same way. Take the rubber band that is with contact with the first star burst and loop it on the pin directly above it like this. And after that, like we did for the previous star burst, go inside the cab bands and take hold of the first rubber band on the top. And now hook that into the pin on the lower right side. Now go back inside the cab bands and take the next cab band under the cap bands and loop it onto the upper left like this. Now again go back under the cap bands and take the next one and loop it on the pin directly above it. Then take the next one and loop it on the upper left side and loop the next one on the lower left side. So your second star bar should look just like this. Now you have got hold of how we should do your star bus. You have to continue the same method for all the star bus.
Once you have finished looping all six starbursts, it's time to start looping the border rubber bands. So come back to the starting and let's start from the left and right black rubber bands or border rubber bands in the middle. So go inside the cap bands and pick the first border rubber band under the cap bands. Then pick it and place it to the second left pin like this. Once you've done that, take the next rubber band under the cap bands and place it onto the right second pin like this. So this is how it should look. Now let's start looping the left side border bands. So go under the rubber bands and take the bottom most rubber band. Then place it onto the pin above it like this. Now again you have to do the same thing. Go under all the rubber bands in this next pin and pull the last rubber band and place it onto the next pin like this. Once you've done that, you have to keep doing the same thing to all the rubber bands. Go inside all the rubber bands, take the last one and place it on the top like this. Then again go inside, place it on top. Continue doing this until you have reached the end. Once you have finished looping all the border rubber bands in the left side, Go back to the starting and it's time to loop the border rubber bands on the right side. So start from the second pin on the right. Go inside it and pick the last rubber band like this and place it on to the pin above it. You have to do the same thing you did for the left side. So once you place it, now go back, go inside the next pin and pull out the last rubber band in the next pin like this and place it on the pin above that pin so it looks like this continue looping the border rubber bands in the same manner till you have reached the end of the loop Once you have finished looping the right side border rubber bands, you have to just loop the top two rubber bands. So go inside all the rubber bands on the left last pin and loop it into the middle last pin like this. Now go inside the all the rubber bands in the right side last pin and loop it into the middle last pin like this. So your total looping of all the rubber bands is done. This is how your loom will look once you have done all the looping. Now this looping alone wouldn't be enough to fit your hand. So we have to extend the size of the rubber band bracelet. So go inside the last pin in the middle row. Go inside all the rubber bands and take your black 
rubber band in my case you can use whatever color your border band is and pull it through all the rubber bands in the last middle pin like this now put the other end of the rubber band back into the hook like this so it should look like this and you have to do the normal single single line rubber band bracelet to extend your already made starburst rubber band bracelet now take your next border rubber band and loop it inside the first rubber band you have looped if you have difficulties looping this single line rubber band bracelet then you can check out my previous video which will be there in the description box where the steps will be told in a more simplified way Once you have added enough rubber bands to your desired size, in my case it took me 8 rubber bands, you can attach your C clip or S clip to the ends of the last rubber band. Once you've done that, all you have to do is take out the rubber band from the loom. Just take each part of the rubber band outside your loom so that it comes out like this. If you have any trouble, you can also take the use of your hook. This is how your rubber band bracelet will look once you have taken it out of the loop. Just stretch it and adjust it like I am doing now. Now all you have to do is attach the other, attach the C clip to the other end of the rubber band bracelet like this. And once you have done that, your rubber band starburst bracelet is totally ready. All that's left to do is to try it on. As I've said before, you can try various combinations and send in the comments which combination you like the best. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye!